Hello, this is the new video. This is about air terminals. So, this air terminal is a Titus digital BAV diffuser, and here I'm, I'm going to demonstrate that uh, how do we do the static pressure or the pressure drop calculations inside the family. And uh, this family I just downloaded from the Titus website. All right, so you can go to uh, the Titus HVAC.com and you can get it downloaded but what I have done changes to this family is uh, this tabulation for this product I mean this is the, the same family this is the same product as we have this family here and I have done the complete static pressure calculations inside the family so um, as you can see there are these types that as per the inlet size is 6 inches 8 10 and 12 and so for this family we have these 6 8 10 and 12 as next sizes so what I've done here is this calculations which for any any type we can have the, we can have this airflow information inside and the corresponding pressure drop value as well as the velocity and total pressure so and let's start with the first size which is size uh, inlet 6 and let's say uh, as per the table we have 79 so cfm uh, so the corresponding static pressure is going to be 0.106 the total pressure is going to be 0.026 and the velocity pressure at 0 0.01 so let's do this so at 79 we have the value 0 0.0266 or 0 0.016 0 0.016 and so this is going to be for any value you put uh, it doesn't matter if you, even if you should put something like that it will still give you and you can go and you can see that let's say 157 if I put 157, so it's it's it is going to be uh, 0.0654. So at 157.064, which is which is correct. And then let's say if I put 177, so it's going to be 0 0.0083. So it is here this 0.082 so and then I um, mean let's change the next size to 8 now this is the 8 and here I can put let's say 209 so 209 it's giving me the pressure drop of 0.047 something like that so this is 0.047 and total pressure of 0 0.069 which is 0 0.069 uh, that's correct also and likewise here you can put any value even beyond the table so let's say this table is ending at 349 let's say if i put 400 cfm here so 400 so it's going to give me something more than the 0 0.13 of so which is here 0.17 and if I change it to 350 all right which is uh, this 349 so this will be the static pressure of 0.13 so this is 0.1314 all right so uh, let's change this to the next size which is size 10 and here we have from 218 to 545 so let's put the value let's say 380 so this is 380 and my pressure drop value is 0.0921 and here at 382 I have 0.093 so which is for quite near to this so now next let's do this at the CFM of let's say 550 550 and we, I have the pressure drop of 0 0.194 and 0 0.190 so 
which is again very close to 345.545 it's giving you 0 0.190 so which is fine and let's go to the last size which is next size 12 and in the next size 12 i have again here all the uh, the calculations done so uh, let's go the value of 550 let's say so which is also so 550 i have pressure drop of 0.147 which is here 0.147 that's fine and I can go, go beyond this which is let's say I put 785 first 75 and the value that it gives me is 0.3648 so here 0.363 all right so and the static pressure is 0.301 and here is the pressure drop 0.3008 which is rounded off to 0.301 that's fine and I can put also some let's say 475 475 and it's going to give me yeah, the static is 0.119 so here the static is 0.11 which is uh, very close to 0.109 and that's it this is so imagine we have assembly for I mean like this or any other air terminals or all the air terminals that can give us the reporting pressure drop exactly from the table that we have so hope you liked it thanks